Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Matt and I do like video games and in today's video, well it's a little impromptu because we just got news of Starfield and it officially has a release date. September 6th, 2023 is when we will finally be playing Starfield. So let's talk about it. So guys, here we are on Twitter. We've got the Starfield page brought up. This is their tweet from 10 a.m. this morning. This morning they put out this tweet and it is the official announcement trailer for Starfield's release date. And if you haven't seen the release date yet, I'm gonna go ahead and spoil that for you, I'm sorry. It is September 6th, 2023. So just a little bit after that initial, what we thought would be first half of 2023 for this game. Um, now for me personally, I'm just kind of riffing here in this video, just getting the news out to you. But for me personally, I'm not too surprised by this. Um, in fact, I kind of expected it. Well, I, let me, let me take that back. I didn't expect September. Um, what I did, however, was when they announced the delay for Starfield initially from November 11th, 2022, I said, you know what? This game is coming out November 11th, 2023. That's just what I thought was going to happen. Um, now, we're here in this position now. Looks like that's not the case. And what's great about that is because I was expecting it November 11th and we're getting it sooner than that, this is great news for me. Now, if I was somebody who was expecting this in June and then I saw, you know, now it's delayed to September, I'd probably be a little upset. But realistically, I never, never expected this game in June. But this trailer... If, you, uh, if you've actually seen it, I'm not sure if you guys have or not, but I highly recommend going and checking it out because first of all, it's just a cool trailer. And then you got Todd explaining some things there. But in the background, you can see on that TV, they're showing a little bit of gameplay out of, out of the corner of your eye in that background there. And the animations, man. Um, animations have always been a little, little weird in Bethesda games, a little bit stiff. Um, I think the best they've ever been would be Fallout 4, but even then, Fallout 4, Fallout 76, the animations were just a little bit stiff. But if you watch the animations in the background, see if I can bring it up here, where this guy is running, but there's a part where this guy is running right here. You can see that, that looks really smooth to me. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but that looks very smooth. Like I could properly play and enjoy that game in third person whereas i don't feel like i can do that with fallout i don't know maybe that's just me but if we head on over here to the verge website now this is an article by tom warren you should definitely go check it out i'll leave a link to that in the description now guys real quick i always say i'll leave a link to something in the description and i always forget to put it in the description this time i'm making good of my promise i get that i got this stuff written down in front of me i know what i gotta do when I go to upload this video. And I'm gonna start doing that from now on because I know I always say I'm gonna put something in the link in the description and it's never there. And I, I'm tired of doing that. So it will be in the description this time, I promise you. But yeah, we've got this article here from Tom Warren over on The Verge. Now, what's cool about this announcement for Starfield is um, the fact that it also announces the Xbox showcase, the Xbox game showcase for June, for around the E3 time. It's not technically E3, but it's it's in that time frame. So it's Xbox's E3 show, sort of. Um, but we're getting the Starfield Direct on June 11th, as well as the Xbox Game Showcase. And what seems to be happening, you can see it right here, Xbox official Twitter account says, join us for Starfield Direct following the Xbox Game Showcase on Sunday, June 11th. So we're gonna be seeing this Game Showcase, and then immediately after that, we're hopping into a deep dive into Starfield. Now that sounds like it's gonna be an awesome day. I guess the only thing that remains to be seen is whether or not this showcase is going to be the same format as last year, where it was like, hey, here's what's in store for the next 12 months. Or are they gonna just, you know, go back to what it normally is? We're gonna just show you the games we're working on, whether it comes out in 12 months, 24 months, three years, whatever. We'll show you what we have now. Um, I'm hoping that's what they do. But at the same time, 
the next 12 months starting in June for Xbox should, in theory, be pretty crazy. So I'd be happy with that as well, if I'm being honest. But let me know down in the comments how you're feeling about all this. Are you excited? Are you as hyped as I am for Starfield on September 6th? I know, like I said, I was expecting this in November. So the fact that it's coming two months earlier, early in the month in September, I, I'm, I'm a happy guy right now. I'm a very happy guy right now. I cannot wait to check out Starfield in September. I'm ecstatic. Let me know in the comments how excited you are. Maybe you're not excited. Let me know in the comments. Leave a comment down below. Leave a like if you like this video. And if you're enjoying this kind of content, you want to stay up to date with it going forward over here on the channel, the best way to do that is consider subscribing, consider ringing the notification bell because that helps you stay up to date with everything that happens over here on the channel. And it helps me get these videos out to more people in the long run, which is exactly what I want to be doing. And with that being said, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.